Yeah, g'day there. I just wanted to uh, show you the reason why I don't really have to spray anymore. I've, I've created a nice little environment for guys like this to uh, do the job for me. Uh, it started with the fish pond but um, gradually I've just reduced spraying and uh, it um, seems to be working. I've, I've heard about permaculture and uh, ideas like that before but I never really got into it but honestly I, we hardly use snail pellets or or any type of spray anymore I mean uh, every night there's probably about 50 or 60 frogs just jumping around my small suburban block and uh, yeah it's working out good cheers this guy's uh, actually a tree frog and he's on his way to climb up my garden beds to do the hard work. Beautiful critter. Have a look. He's, he's, uh, he knows where the food is. The, uh, yeah. yeah, sorry guys, I literally just swallowed a bug that was attracted to the light, to the light on my head, but we'll keep persevering. Yeah, the way I um, look at it is these guys are the night crew, and during the day, the lizards, the various lizards, are the day crew. So they're all looking pretty fat and healthy. So uh, can't ask for more than that. Cheers. And as you can see, everywhere I look, I see these little guys. Yeah, just create the right environment for them. They hide under these rocks so the lizards. Things just stick out clearer when you're at night time with the torch. We have a look under here. Didn't even know these were here. Eggplants. Beautiful. get good habitat logs in my firewood deliveries I usually um, uh, scatter them about the yard to give shelter for the lizards and the frogs because uh, as long as they've got water food and shelter they'll stick around so um, just wherever you look I've sort of got little frogs buried seems to be helping a lot. Cheers.